Welcome back, everybody, to Falcon Plays the Descendant, episode number two. If you recall, we actually covered episode number one a couple of months back. I really enjoyed the game myself. I'm really looking forward to see if all of my choices in episode number one has a really big impact in episode number two. This is one of those games, kind of like the whole Telltale series of games where... All of your decisions really shape the overall story going forward. Um, if you missed out on episode number one, I should have the series itself, which is like I think three episodes long, on the cards on the side, or maybe an annotation of the video somewhere. Just look around and you're pretty sure you'll find a link to um, episode number one itself, in case you missed it and want to see what The Descendant is all about. But without further ado, let's get into this as soon as possible, because I'm really excited to check out what um, episode number two has in store for us here. That and the episode number one kind of left off in quite a bit of a cliffhanger for us, so let's go into start. Previously, on The Descendant. When the world recovered from the apocalypse, all the arcs reopened, except one. Arc 01. After getting into the facility, it was meant to be easy. Find the arc's janitors, have them wake up the Descendants, and get the hell out of Dodge. If only it was that simple. I'm Silas, uh, a janitor, same as you. I'm a physician, so it's my duty to keep the descendants alive and well. I'm Mia, but you already knew that. I guess your job then will be looking after the Ark itself. It's, uh, it's a big responsibility. Mia, w what do we do? Oh, no. No, no, no! Donnie, what we need to know right fucking now! Donnie, they're empty. It's how those descendants ended up dead! <laughs> I was just getting to that. You think I'd know better? Years of my life taken by the ARC program. Taken? Your life was spared by the ARC program, you ungrateful piece of shit. For what? For this? To help create your new world? I should have just died along with everyone else. You'll get your chance, Freeman. I never wanted to be part of this. Don't you get it? You all lied to me. To the whole goddamn world. It doesn't matter now. And you know that. You need to tell me everything that happened in Arco 1. If we're to have any chance of survival. You found the janitors were missing. And we found out the descendants in there were probably dead already. Losing your filtration tower is one thing. But Arc-01 only had two janitors. And for it to be those two, well, it can't have been pretty when they found out. Oh, shit. Mia, what do we do? Just, just give me a second to think. If the filtration tower is filled, then time is the one thing we don't have. How do we fix it? Can we restart the filtration system from here? I don't know. I never had to try. Shouldn't you know this? Oh, uh, right. Right. Here, it's here. In the event of a system failure, the filtration system must be manually restarted. Okay, okay. So that must mean getting to the filtration tower, right? Hang on. I'll try to see what our oxygen levels are looking like. Um, see if you can find a schematic of the facility. Try the lockers. Alrighty, good to go. Try the lockers, he says. Let's go ahead and um, try to get comfortable with the controllers again. It's been a, quite a while since I last played on episode number one here. Lockers over here. Gotcha. Let's go see what's over here around. They're all locked. Where's the key? Huh? Uh, I'm not sure. Must have left it somewhere in here. 
Oh, hey, thanks a lot. Very, very helpful. Oh, somewhere in here. Just gotta do all the legwork myself. Got a box here. Nothing here. File cabinet. No. All right, dog. Where would you put some keys at, man? Not a box, not a file cabinet. Normally, I just put them in a table somewhere. Doesn't seem to be the case over here, though. No? Drawer? Okay, maybe, maybe over here. Oh, I see another metal locker over there. Jesus Christ! It was literally next to you. Sorry, a little busy here. Asshole. Yeah, you dick. Alrighty, locker key acquired. Good. Who puts keys in a drawer, really? I mean, just put them in a the table. You never know when you need them. Might as well just be next to you, handy. Who needs to lock stuff away down here anyway? So we're here, janitor's quarters. What the? There's a communications room? That'll only work when the surface is safe. And what's this classified area? Why would some parts of the facility be classified? I don't know, and I guess that's kind of the point. Can you just focus, please? Yeah, yeah. That's the filtration tower, so it's through there, that L-shaped corridor. That's through that door. You need to get going. Now. Me? What? You're staying here again? I don't think so. You can't possibly be... What's happening? Silas? What the... Is that from a hazmat suit? You tell me what is going on right now! Put this on and I'll tell you. What? Put the goddamn suit on! You crazy bastard! Fine, if that's what it takes. What set off the alarm? The alarm is sounding because I've shut down the facility's ventilation system. What? Let me finish. That means our last safe oxygen is being directed to this room, the filtration tower, and the descendants only. Why would you do that? Because then this arc has a chance. You need to get to the filtration tower right now. And if I don't make it back, you're... what? You're just gonna crawl into a cryo tank? I'm the only one who knows how to look after the descendants. Come here, quickly. Shit. Do, do you think I can even make it to the tower? How long have I got? You... you have to go. Now. I can't. Silas, I can't do this. There's no other way. There's no time. It's a suicide mission. Then you better make it count. Goodbye, Silas. But... How? Then where the hell are the janitors? I guess they didn't make it. This changes nothing. How can you say that? Those janitors were our key to rescuing the descendants trapped in here. Now we don't know anything about this goddamn Ark. Either way, it's on us now. You did good just now, thinking on your feet like that. I'm glad I picked you for this mission, Donnie. Still. You know that keeping the tanks closed would have done those guys no good, right? I mean, what? Were we just gonna hold down the lids until it was safe for them to come out? Now's not the time to be a wise ass. Anyway, we got a job to do. You got a good head on you? What do you think our next move should be? We need to find the descendants, wake them up, and get them out of here. If they're still alive. Don't you dare say that! We've come too far to give up hope now. With all due respect, if the janitors didn't make it, then what hope is there? We have to try. It can't all be for nothing. How do we find out if the descendants made it? That's the thing. With so many of the Ark systems powered down, there's no way to know. Shit. So we have to restore power, right? Right. That would let us check on the descendants and give us access to the whole facility. 
Then we can get the descendants out? Not until we flush the ventilation system. There could be all kinds of airborne shit ready to kill us down here. Restore the power. Blast Clean O2 through the facility. Save the world. Something like that, yeah. So where are the power generators? I'll let you know as soon as I find a schematic for the Ark. Alright, cool. So, um, in case you are wondering what's happening over here, this is going to be taking place in the future, and then the whole thing with Mia and Silas is in the past, so we're obviously after their events over here. Uh, I gotta find the schematics still, let's see. See a glowing paper here, Intel file, let's go and check this out. Schematics, I gotta look around. There's a locker right there we can check out too. Maybe it's the Intel file. Alrighty, cool. Let's see here. Intel file 4, 3. There's a 1. Let's start off with that one. It's hard to believe Alaska was covered with snow ones. No longer is. Uh, security level 4. Blast door, DEF CON, Class Vault door 2. Janitors 2. From originally, there's a 1. I'm not sure if this X is kind of covering a number or if it used to be 1 and they swapped it over to 2. So there was 108 descendants here at one point. We know that we lost one at the end of episode one. Like, it dropped it down to 107. Um, okay. Outer blast doors, right. Well, that's about it. HQ radio frequency, 14015, I guess, in case we need that. So, Intel file 2. Hmm. Override code. Might need that. Hopefully he remembers it. I won't. Intel file 3. You checking up on me, Randolph? A little due diligence never hurt. That true? What you did to that other guy. He got what he deserved. Huh. Alright, so 35, this is our guy Donnie. High school dropout, okay. Uh, technology, technologically adept, detail-oriented and well aware of his limitations, physically fit and healthy, previous junior boxing champion, exhibits authority issues. <laughs> I wonder if this has anything to do with our choices from the first episode. And then, um, ARC program performance review. Subject in question performed adequately in ARC. Redacted. Incident report's been blacked out, so we have no idea what we did to that other guy. Remember, the guy that we're with right now, the um, that's the senator. So he's a VIP while we're just kind of like a lowly janitor there to help out. So we're expendable, he's not. Uh, maintenance roster. Silas Gunter is circled. <clears throat> Somebody over here is crossed out. Maybe Mia? Simon's living accommodation, see next spread. Okay, well. <clears throat> oh, wait. Aptitude testing through. <coughs> yeah. This is actually kind of cool. Aptitude testing through. I wonder if you could actually go to this website and they'll um, quiz you on something. Anybody want to check it out? Let me know, guys. Let me guys know if um, you check this out. Descendantinc.com. There's a test there. Let me know. I'm kind of interested about that myself now. All right. So that's about everything over here. We found no schematics. We got some information. Is that it, Randolph? Yeah. Where's the rest of the intel file? That's all HQ gave us. You gotta be kidding me. Does it matter? There must be some schematics in these quarters somewhere. Alright. <clears throat> so not there. Well, we got books. We got... Start off with the lockers, I guess. Gotta always go back must to the lockers. Must be someplace else. Hmm. Alright. Not there. Some boxes. No schematics here. The Goat Whisperer. Can I read these now? What was that? Score, score butts bad list? <laughs> okay. Uh, books, nothing here, nothing here. Let's go check out these boxes. Now, why you would have schematics in some boxes is really beyond me, but eh. No reason not to check it out. Got no better lead. Nothing here. Yeah, I figured as much. Alright. Nothing in boxes. Fallen shelves. Doubtful. I think I found something. No. Oh. Never mind. You find anything? No. So where's the power room? Just here. And then we need to go to the filtration tower. That's where we can flush the ventilation system. And this is us. Here. I'm not a complete idiot, Downey. Says you. So if I'm reading this right, I need to go back through that door. What do you mean, you need to? We're both going. What, you think I need your help to switch the power on? 
Look, whatever you think about me, about how privileged a life I live before the world turned to shit, put it to one. Look, with all due respect, we're better safe than sorry. I appreciate your concern, but come on, time's not on our side, and it can't be that hard. I'll get it done. You go get the ventilation fixed. And don't slow us down. We're on a tight schedule. What the hell happened to you two? Randolph. What a guy. Huh. What's that noise? Alrighty, well, I saw he might have pocketed something. That much we do know. So... Obviously, we can't trust Randolph. Cannot trust the guy. I'm trying to get on his good side, though, because he has all, like, all these options where it's kind of like, oh, so-and-so will remember that. So I'm, I'm hoping that means that um, Randolph might turn the table on us here at some point. Heard a noise, though. Unless he didn't pocket something and he just hit something. Where was he at? What you hear, dog? <clears throat> kind of scanning around. Nothing just yet. Come on, come on. Hmm. Here we go. Radio. That would probably make a noise. There you are. Randolph must have left this here. <coughs> hmm. I better <laughs> get to the filtration tower. All right. Cool. So we have a radio now. Did he leave that on purpose? Like, why wouldn't you tell us, hey, here's a radio, by the way, so you could kind of like, communicate with each other? Interesting. So, filtration, I'm gonna assume this door, I really wish there was like a map function in this game. Drop that M, give me a map. But we're back to Mia. This must be it. Alright, cool. So, let's see here. Can I run? Double clicking, no running, no running. Alrighty, well. I'd imagine we might want to like speed it up since apparently time is not on our side. And this might be a suicide mission, which might explain to us what happened with Mia here. We have bunker door. God damn it! The key card won't work here. Shit. Can you hack it? No time. There's a keypad. What's the code? How would I know? Where should it be? Uh Check the facility handbook, I guess. Give me a sec. Is there another route to the filtration tower? Uh, according to this schematic, um, I think... Uh, okay, I have an idea. But you're not gonna like it. Can you see a metal grate on the wall? Metal grate on the wall. Yep, absolutely can. Uh, found it. Now what? You're gonna need to pull that grate off the wall. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Silas, is this the only way? I'm sorry. Yeah, it's the only option. That ventilation shaft should go all the way to the filtration tower. Best day ever. Alright, cool. So. Now, what's. Man. Are we like in the same route that she took? That's gotta be different. Like, this looks completely different. Especially with all the writing. Oh, this might be it, man. I think this is absolutely it. Safe, secure. What does that even mean? Well, if we see a shaft right now, we know this is it. No, this is it, man. My god, I mean, it's, I know it's been centuries, but what the... Whoa, what the hell? Why is there cryogas leaking here? Gotta shut it off so I can get past. Alright. Can't get through that. So that's what the writing on the walls here with the neon colors indicate. Find a valve, we gotta find a valve. Fire extinguisher's not gonna help us out. Yeah. It's a valve here, but that's not it particularly, alright. Here. 
There we go. Control panel. It's looking for a valve. Just do a control panel. Um, let's see here. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. It's gotta be it. <laughs> I gotta figure this out. Uh, I'm not the smartest cookie out here. Let's see. Well, what can I interact with first? Apparently, it's a red button, so let's start off with that. Oh, that, that was it. I was expecting a puzzle of some kind. No, I just press the button, Falcon. You're fine. Well, if it's going to be that easy, don't mind it one bit. Don't mind it one bit at all. So, if she took the shaft... <laughs> not what I meant, by the way, but she took the ventilation shaft, is what I obviously meant. Um, why is it closed in now, again? And uh, did somebody answered the code at some point. These are all questions I want answers Shit. to. Gonna need to find a code for the door. Well, apparently we have the answer to that. Nobody opened that one. But the ventilation shaft is closed again, so there is that. Uh, a code, right? Okay. Well, I guess here's my puzzle function I was over asking for. I'd rather fiddle on with the buttons than just find a, try to find a code here. Locker. Maybe you have the answer to my question. This locker must be broken into. Must be broken into. Okay. As in, we cannot break into it now. Gotta find an item. Is that really where you put a code, though? There we go. Oh, well, there we go. Metal pipe. Sounds pretty good for breaking stuff, I would say. Grab that. So I figured all those intel files would probably have a code for that door, but... This seems to be our only option at the moment. Now that's what I call an icebreaker. <laughs> oh, that's as corny as the joke I would make. Code book acquired. So... See it down here? Do I just come over here now, and what? No harm in trying. Alrighty, well, we have quite a few of them. Luckily for us, we could probably just match up the zero number. I'm not that dumb. 012262, down here. Up, oh, dog, keep the light over here, please. So we have 25478. Bingo! I know, I know. Really impressive. Every now and then, I'm when a dog finds his bone. Mia, when you make it back, I think we both know. When you make it back, maybe you stop calling me a crazy bastard, huh? Maybe you stop being a crazy bastard. Silas, I thought there was no oxygen left. What is that? Oh my god. What the hell? Silas, you read me? I'm here. The vent, it... it didn't lead to the tower. I'm outside. How is that possible? Uh, okay. Do you think you can reach the filtration tower? I think so. I have to try. Thank you, Mia. I'm... I'm sorry. It, it has to be you that goes through this. It's like you said. The descendants are all that matter. I didn't mean... They were chosen, right? The ARC program selected the descendants out of everyone alive as humanity's best shot at surviving extinction. And we were chosen, Mia. You and me. To protect them. To make sure they survive. If that's what you want to believe. That's what I was told when I signed up for this. That's why I signed up for this. The Arcs, the Descendants, the fate of humanity, for God's sake. They need us as much as we need them. Otherwise, it's all for nothing. What if it's all for nothing anyway? The world was dead already, and those bastards still blew it up. What do you think is waiting for us, Silas? What's waiting for us? Nothing! If you want something, you work for it, not wait for it. God, are you that selfish? Oh, that's easy for you to say, tucked up in that goddamn room. I don't see you putting your life on the line. I just want to live, Silas. That's why I signed up for this. I don't care about any of it. The world's gone. 
It can't be fixed. I just... I just... I'm not ready to die. Silas? Silas? Oh, great. Alrighty, well, we're gonna wrap it up here for today, guys. We'll come back next episode, go through the gate, and see what awaits us out here after all. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. Stick around for the next episode. It should be coming up here pretty soon. I will catch you next time.